All right. So here we have Emperor from Audio Assault. And Audio Assault is one of my uh, favorite manufacturers that makes plugins that aren't super expensive, but they still sound really good. So let's go over all of the options in this plugin. And you'll also, of course, hear samples as we uh, as we go along. So, of course, up here at the top, we have a gate. Let me find this sample right here. Just for those who don't know what a gate does. So a gate is going to clamp down on our signal whenever it falls below our threshold. So like in these areas here, we might not want amp noise, you know, in those areas. So you can use the included gate there. If I had it all the way down, you can hear amp noise right there. Pull it up, dial that amp noise out. Okay. Same thing here for whenever you're playing, maybe you're playing like palm mutes and things like that. So we can bring this up. Not too high, of course. I'll bring it up. So there is your gate. Then we have a stomp section here. Let me grab a different sample right there. So there are a bunch of included stomps in here. Just use your drop down, choose, you know, whatever you want. Of course, turn those on or off, just like you would, you know, any other pedal move them around, set them up, and of course, uh, you know, affect your tone like that. You can also, by the way, over here in the amp section, you can turn the amp off if you just want to use the, uh, the stomps. But I don't want any stomps for this. Just realize they are right there. Back over here to the amp section now, we have on and off. So again, bypass that amp. We have two different channels here, channel one and channel two. Now this amp is not going to get extremely clean. Okay, you might be able to do like rock with it. So if we grab this sample here, make sure it's on, of course, and go to channel one here. So even on channel one with the gain way down, it's still, you know, it's still really overdriven. All right, come over here. Then on to our channel two right here. It's kind of hard to see those lights, but they're right there. Channel two gets extremely high gain. So we'll start with it down here. Of course, we have our bass, mid, treble, and then presence here. Then over here on channel one, of course, bass, mid, and treble, just your basic tone pots uh, and adjustments that you'll have on any amp. Channel two. So we have a nice scooped tone right now. And as you bring this mid up, you'll probably be dropping your treble and probably even presence. Okay, and then down here is where your presets would be. So of course, set up whatever you want. And then of course, save your own preset. So my preset, bada bing, then you'll have it right there that you can always uh, recall and uh, do whatever you want with there. Up across the top also, there's an output section right here. So if it's too loud with your settings, of course, just adjust your volume here. And then on to the real tone shaping area is the cabinet area. So this amp, you choose your cabinet and choose your microphone. So we'll go through these real quick here. We can also double click on this grill and that will make it uh, make it disappear. So we can move this around. Or of course, if you're just moving your mic around, it will uh, temporarily disappear for us. So let me grab a different sample again, right here. Right now we're on the American cab. So we'll move our microphone around. We can change our cabinets here. Here's our British cab. Of 
course, our different microphones here as well. We have four different basic microphones to uh, choose from here. So here's our uh, SM57. For that classic sound. Of course, adjust your parameters based on your uh, impulse response. Let me scoop the mids a little bit more. That ribbon is going to give you a bit of a darker sound. Okay. Then another dynamic mic here. All right. Then we'll come back to the cabinets here in just a second because we also have the option to load our own impulse responses. And we can also turn off the cab if you want to bypass the cabinet for whatever reason. Maybe you want to use your own impulse response loader, or maybe you want to bypass the cab and bypass the amp. And then just use the stomps in, uh, you know, for another uh, guitar amp sim. Okay, let me turn this back on here. Bada bing, bada boom. And we'll put this on American for now. We'll come back to the cabs in just a second and see our impulse response loader. Okay, we put this on a condenser and okay. So now we have this distance control here as well. And let me choose something different here. So for our distance, we can basically simulate how far away that microphone is uh, from the cabinet here. Very close right now. Pull it away. Just bring some more of that air into it, right? Then we have a high pass and a low pass built in here. And right now I have the low pass pulled up to dial out some of that top end, okay? So our high pass lets the highs pass, so therefore it cuts off the lows. Low pass lets the lows pass, and therefore cuts off the uh, the uh, top end there. So we can sort of shape our sound a little bit a uh, little bit more. Cutting out all that low end. So you can use that to tighten up the sound a bit. Then up here to sort of smooth it out. Okay, so now let's move on to the included impulse response loader. So we'll just use the drop down here and go to IR cabinet. And there are included impulse responses with this. Okay, now these two up here, I've, I've added myself, but it does have some uh, included as well. <laughs> But the real power of this is that you can use your own impulse responses. Now, whenever we're using our IR cab, we have our IR volume right here that you can also adjust. Instead of having that distance, we have IR volume right here. So let's click our folder icon. And that's going to bring up the default location for the impulse responses that come with Emperor. Okay. Now, if you want to use your own impulse responses, and I have literally thousands of them uh, from red wires. And if you want to use those directly within Emperor, all you need to do is navigate to wherever they are. So I'll just head in here real quick. And let's grab something here, maybe something from crank. And then of course, choose my microphone. And then I'll just copy the impulse response over. I don't want to move it because I want all of my impulse responses in the same place, but I want to use these directly within uh, within here. So I can just grab it and just copy it. You know, copy it over here. So there's my crank legends now in there. Of course, do as many as you want. And then directly down here now, I'll have my crank cabinet. <laughs> Okay, so that is how you can use your own impulse responses directly within Emperor here. Maybe I want an SM7. Just copy that over here. And it will be available uh, directly uh, in here. All 
All right, cool. So that is all of our controls here in Emperor from Audio Assault. And you can always pick it up over here at audioassault.com. Read more about it down here. Read more about the stomps and the included cabinets. This is available for VST, VST3, AU, and AAX, Mac, and Windows. So head over here. Of course, link will be in the uh, description below if you want to uh, check it out further.